Mark Spencer from Ripple Training here with a quick tip on how to use RT Guides, part of the Ripple Tools collection for Final Cut Pro 10. So here we are once again in Final Cut Pro 10. Here is the Titles browser, and here is the Ripple Tools collection and RT Guides. RT Guides is basically built for aligning objects in your composition. So in my project here, I have uh, multiple things going on. I have a, a clip on the primary storyline, I have a connected clip that's serving as a background. I have a connected clip uh, that's also in the project. And then I have two text uh, title clips. So, and basically what I want to do is arrange these, give these a nice pleasing range on the screen. So RT guides are generally for use in doing like the, things like this, where I've got my uh, video clips, or these are actually stills, but they're scaled down. And I want to line things. So what I'm going to do is press the X key to mark a range, select RT guides, press Q, Put the playhead over and select RT Guides. So by default, what you do, what you get are these two guides. Let's go to the Title Inspector. There's a few controls here. There's some quick tips that you can turn on to give you information about how to use them. And uh, we'll get to the rest of these in just a minute. So it has two guides by default and little control uh, points, on-screen controls, for moving them. And these on-screen controls are can move up and down the each guide or along each guide so that they don't get in the way because maybe we want to we want one to be here and I'll just move the little on-screen control out of the way so we can see this image well. Okay, so we can set those where we want them and then let's say I'll select the um, guy on the motorcycle. Now to move him with him selected I could use the inspector to move it or I could go to the transform effect and then drag it and put it where I want. So, so I could put it there and maybe I want to take the uh, skate and line it up to that guy over there. And then I'm going to leave the transform effect and to align the text, uh, you don't need to go into the transform effect. You can just drag directly on the screen. Now sometimes you're going to get these snapping, these uh, kind of dynamic guides that can get in the way. And in those cases, I do like to go ahead and use the inspector. So I'll go to the video inspector and I can use the position controls to align the word skate. And then for motocross, I can align that. Let's say I want to put that down along this guide down here. So that's one way to use the guides. Now, um, something else that you can do is sometimes you want to use more guides. Uh, for instance, I might want to actually uh, align this along the left with something else, and I want more than two guides. So all you need to do is add another copy. So again, I'll press X. I'll select RT Guides and press Q. RT Guides and press Q. There we go. And I've got another copy now. And I can set these up so I could align more objects. Now, um, a couple things here. First of all, let me take this new one. I'll go to the title inspector and I'll reset it so it's dead center. Sometimes you just want something in the center. So now I could take this image here and we don't need scale opened. I'll close that. And maybe I want to position it right off the center like that. And then I want to take the guy on the motorcycle and move him right off the center point. And then I could use the first set of guides, sort of give me a, a bottom line to line up across. And I could take the word motocross and line it up like that. And again, sometimes snapping gets in the way and you can just go to the video inspector and adjust things a little more easily that way. I'll check skate and also move it down a little bit. Okay, so that's one option. And well, finally, there are um, one more thing you can do. Let me select the top guides. And there are some rulers. So I, I say show rulers. We get a set of rulers that allows you to precisely align these guides if you want things to be a specific amount away from the center. For instance, maybe I want to be exactly uh, minus 400 for this guide. And I'll select the other guide and put it exactly plus 400. So that way, I can align these each of these images so they are very precisely a certain amount offset from the center. So I'll put that one there. 
and I'll put this one here. And I'll put the word skate, go to the video inspector. Along that guide. And I'll take motocross. And perhaps put it right there. And now I know these are well proportioned exactly the same distance away from the center point. So very easy. You want more guides, you can of course add it multiple times. And then each of these guides also, go back to the title inspector, you can change the color if you want the different guides to be different colors to make them easier to tell apart. And that's basically all there's to it. You might actually want to include them in some cases in your video. Uh, in, in that case, you could just leave them turned on. If you don't want to see them in the video, once you're done, I'll select them, tap the V key to turn them off, and they won't show up on export. So you do need to remember to disable them if you don't want to see them on your export. Uh, if you do, for some reason, as part of a composition, you can certainly uh, leave them on. And that is how to use RT guides as part of the Ripple Tools collection. Thanks for watching.